welcome students uh, so in last class we have seen secant's formula and we have solved a numerical based on that now coming to the professor perry's formula okay professor perry's formula so from the secant formula we have seen that if uh, the column section length and end conditions if they are given okay column section length and if end conditions are given it is easy to work out the extreme stress intensities due to given load and eccentricity or even to calculate permissible eccentricity for a given load and permissible stresses but if the safe load for a given section or stresses and limit of eccentricity has to be determined okay if we want to determine a safe load for a particular given section or for particular stresses or even the what should be the limit of eccentricity if we have to determine that then uh, we need to find out what is the necessary formula which is workable formula okay so let's come to the uh, expression of the perry's formula and uh, we'll see the theory behind it so we know that for maximum stress maximum stress it is we have written as sigma o direct stress plus bending stress right and we have the formula p by a so we have seen this in last class p into e into l by 2 into square root of p by ei divided by z okay so we had this formula yeah i missed here the important element it is sec okay it is uh, let me just correct it it is sec and it is p into e yeah, this is the correct formula now from this formula we can rewrite it as p by a plus p into e take out the p outside then we can write it as gamma c gamma c divided by a into r square sec of l by 2 square root of p by ei now what is this gamma c so here gamma c or we can say it as yc so we know that we know that section modulus is nothing but i by y okay so it is if you consider at this particular section it is if you consider it as yc okay or if in any other notation it is gamma c so this is ar square by yc so we can rewrite it as sigma 0 p by a is sigma 0 plus 1 plus e into yc by r square sec of l by 2 square root of p by ei simply rewriting the same formula again so uh, when we rearrange the terms we can rewrite it as sigma 0 is equal to uh, sorry sigma max is equal to sigma 0 into this we have substituted as sigma 0 then it will be this is there is a mistake over here just this plus can't come okay sigma naught we have taken it out this p by a again it will become sigma naught okay so we have taken it out then this will become 1 1 plus the remaining portion okay so here sigma naught into 1 plus e into uh, yc by r square okay uh, sec l by 2 root of p by ei now we can again rewrite this formula as e into yc by r square 
sec of five pi by two. We are we are changing with this term. Okay, we are replacing it with we know the formula that P E is equal to you may say eccentric load uh, P by I by L square. Okay, P critical P E or P C we say. So we have this formula. So we are simply substituting this E I with this terms. Okay. So when P E is equal to pi square E I by L square, so what we can write? E I will be equals to P E into L square by pi square. Right. So or when we rearrange the term, so E I will be replaced by that. So let us see uh, the do the arrangement over here. So we can rewrite it as E by P E. So from this, what Professor Perry found? Okay. So Professor Perry found uh, the expression. Professor Perry found the expression. that we can write it as sec of l by 2 square root of p by e i so he found out this equation okay so in above equation we did the changes so pi by 2 square root of p by p e okay so there is a change in this particular term and this pi okay so this is the expression so it is very close to it is uh, very close to very close to 1.2 pe by pe minus p so this is as per the theory given by professor perry 1.2 sigma e this is 1.2 sigma e minus direct bending stress so when we substitute it Okay, when we substitute this value in our equation of sigma max, so we get it as sigma max is equal to sigma naught 1 plus EYC by R square. This is R square. 1.2 sigma E, sigma E minus sigma naught. So the sec term, okay, the sec term, what this sec term, this term or you say this term that is close to this. So simply substituted in above equation, it is substituted by this particular term, okay. So here the sec term is substituted by Professor Perry with this particular term. So on substituting, we are getting this uh, formulation. So when we rearrange the term sigma x minus sigma naught is equal to e into yc by r square 1.2 sigma e sigma o sigma e minus sigma o so again we can rewrite it as sigma max minus sigma o into bring we are bringing this this side sigma e minus sigma o I sigma e sigma o is equal to 1.2 e y c by r square okay so this is the expression for which it is easy to work out from this equation it is easy to find uh, if if the sigma value of sigma max and e is given it is easy to calculate what is sigma o okay so the change when it comes to the professor Perry's formula. So remember, this is the change in the seconds formula. Okay. So student, uh, this is about the professor Perry's formula. And uh, in next uh, class, we are going to solve a numerical based on this formula. Okay, students, thanks for listening to me. Thank you.